Yo, what's up, you tactical Glock 33 round double pouch magazine Black Hawk 511 boot wearing tactical 27,000 lumens flashlights mother humpers. What are you doing? Oh, that was hard. I, only, you know, I had to do that three times. Putting on my flyers watch because. I wear it every day and they're in second place and I love it what can I say uh yeah the game me and my buddy went to that's that's the way hockey is they got their ass handed to them but now they're winning 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 again that's that's just the way it is it's crazy now they're in second place again I love it uh got a few things I want to talk about Right now I'm using my brand new uh, Canon camera. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think this is a good one. Um, if you guys are starting a YouTube channel, uh, this Canon camera is definitely the way to go. You want to you get a good camera, you got to spend some money. And this one's called the PowerShot SX50HS. Now, the first camera I bought this month was uh, recommended by my little red-headed stepchild, Mr. Eric Bomey, over at the eBomey channel, suggested the GoPro. Well, the GoPro didn't work out. If you looked at the last video, did you notice it was really shaky? And the, the picture clarity wasn't like it usually was. So, for me, the GoPro is definitely not a good camera to use for YouTube. Sorry, Eric. I don't know. Ow. This camera is unbelievable. It has uh, a 50 times zoom on it. Not that I need that, but it's pretty freaking cool. And it has all kinds of stuff. And uh, most importantly, your computer will love the software. In other words, after the camera makes it a video, it creates a little fucking file. Now, the, my Sony Handycam, which I've been using for years, has been acting up lately. And a good friend of mine tried to fix my computer for me. God bless that guy. But he fixed it a little bit, but it didn't quite get rid of the problem. The problem was the camera. The camera was the problem. Um, as soon as I switched from the Sony to the Canon, the Canon's RAW file, whatever they use, my computer loves it. So now I can edit it, make it fancy if I want. It won't take me long. My computer, the, the movie maker won't crash anymore. So if you're starting a YouTube channel or you're looking for a good ca uh, camera for your YouTube channel and you're upgrading your camera, go to Best Buy and get this Canon PowerShot SX50HS. This thing is friggin' beautiful. Now it's a big still picture camera, but it's equally a video camera also. Okay, with a 16 gigabyte disk card in there, sand disk card, you can get up to almost an hour of recording time. That's way plenty because you don't want your YouTube videos to, to be past 15 minutes. Sometimes you have to because you have to explain a bunch of shit. But you want to keep them all between 10 and 15 minutes, you know, or less because, you know, where guys, mostly guys watching, they don't, they're, they're impatient. They don't have long attention spans. I'm the same way. Uh, oh my god. Why am I here? I'm tired. Oh. I'm getting my, uh, well I got it. I just got to pass the test now, which I don't see a problem. I'm getting my RSO certification, which means range safety officer. That's a good thing to get in the, from the NRA. I'll have that pretty soon. Uh, just a little update. That's cool. Now if someone gets on my nerves at the range, I can throw them the fuck out. Just kidding. Relax. Jesus Christ. Isn't it amazing, like, if you make a dirty joke or something, you have to, like, apologize at the end of it? Just in case there's some asshole out there that gets his asshole wound up. Unreal. It's, 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 it's the liberal world now, so this is how, you know, I don't know why I let it bother me, but I do. Um, but seriously, that's a good thing to get, the uh, an RSO uh, certification. I, I am getting that. I took the class, 
Now I got to take the test, and you'll get this nice certificate, and then they'll give you a little card. It says RSO, and I was uh, told by people that I work with it's a good thing to have, so I'm getting it. Thank you, Mike, for letting us get that, because I know it's not cheap. Mike paid for the, you know, the funds to get that, and uh, very nice. Mike's a cool dude. Short, but a cool dude. Very cool dude. Nice guy to work for. Best boss I had yet. And I'm not kissing ass, it's the truth. Other than that, he's a ball breaker too. In a funny way. I want to show you this holster. I know you've seen these before. Okay, camera. Let's see what you got. I'm going to hold it close. This holster is from Bear Hug Holsters. As you notice, uh, a while ago I asked him, can you make a Kydex holster that's wrapped in leather? And he said, yeah, I can do that. And he's getting so good at it. This is for a Smith & Wesson Shield, which is my right now everyday carry. And I asked him if he can make it for my Smith & Wesson Shield. Now the amazing part, now you'll see the back of it's Kydex, okay, and the front of it's leather. And I will give you all his information, I'll put the link right under the video, right down there somewhere. What he does is, I don't know what the hell he does, but we, we, we talked about this and uh, we, you know, we came up with this. Uh, there is another company that does it, I'm not saying we invented it. We thought we invented it until we found out someone else does it too, but we don't. His holsters are, are awesome. They're, uh, the Kydex is a nice thick Kydex, not too thick, yet nice and flexible, so it's comfortable. Uh, what I like about his holsters is he wraps them in leather. A lot of people, especially new gun people, they're used to seeing guns in leather holsters. So they can't warm up to the Kydex thing yet. Well, this is the cure for that. Here you have the leather look, and it's real leather. And you have the Kydex technology for, you know, drawing your weapon and reholstering quickly. That's what's great about the Kydex and the lightness. They're so light. Okay? Leather holsters ain't heavy, but they're heavier than Kydex. Wait a minute, I'm going to fucking sneeze now. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to show you his work. Beautiful, beautiful work uh, that uh, Bear Hug holsters do. Now they call this the we call it the Arm Schmo because it was half my idea, half his idea, and the name of his channel is Joe Schmo, so Armory Channel Arm Schmo. But really, it's a Bear Hug holsters. That's the name of his company. So there you go. Beautiful, ain't it? This is my everyday carry right here. I got my, I was asked in a PM, can you show your everyday carry? Well, I don't carry too much shit with me. I mean, my cell phone too, but I'm not putting that out there. I got this uh, beautiful Surefire flashlight that was sent to me years ago from a really good friend. I love this thing. This thing, you could throw this thing. It's the most solid flashlight I ever, I ever had. And I got this little clip on there that someone else sent me, which I want to show the guy. I'm using it. Works great. And I have this this just Kershaw knife for, you know, once you start carrying a knife and getting used to it, man, you can't live without it. Didn't realize how important it is to have a knife. You use it for everything. And of course, my Smith and Wesson M&P shield right here. You guys know how I feel about this gun. Extremely reliable. Can hand most importantly. It can handle a lot of rounds through it, so you can go to the range all the time, not to worry about it getting loose and falling apart. That's why I like it so much. No issues yet. Never failed me yet. I have a loaded magazine, so we'll check the chamber. Okay. Gun's empty. I don't care. I show an empty gun. There's nothing wrong with that. Just using regular, you know, in the great state of Pennsylvania, you're allowed to use hollow points. Other than uh, gay New Jersey, you're not allowed to, which is... The stupidest thing I ever heard, but you're allowed to use hollow points. Another question I have to answer, and I can't even answer it. Guy told me, is it okay to mix different kinds of hollow points in the same magazine? A long time ago, I thought, I don't think it's a good idea, but I think, I don't think it matters because the gun is designed to shoot any kind of 9mm bullet. So, I don't know. If the barrel heats up and you got different styles of bullet tips going through it, it might be bad for it. I don't think that's the case. 
Dude, I, I can't answer that question for you. I really can't. But me being OCD, how OCD I am, everything has to be the same. Everything has to be lined up. You know what I mean? Um, I don't do that. Once in a while, the mag's always full, so I'll, I'll get my plus one. This is my plus one shot glass. What I do is, when the, bullet, when the gun is in my house and it's not on my body, I always take the mag out first. Take, I take the mag out, hold the gun in a safe direction, and I get rid of the, of the plus one round. And what I'll do is I'll get the plus one round, throw it in a shot glass. Well, I carry a few different my, kinds of 9mm and I have a couple different styles of 9mm ammo. So they're all mixed up. And sometimes I'll grab one and make and put it in the gun. And it might not ju be just like the one that's in the magazine. But it really doesn't matter because that, that round, even if it's a different style round, it's the first one chambered in the gun. So that's going to work. But really, I, I really don't think it, it, it's, 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 it's bad to do that. I think as long as the bullets are the same weight, um, all hollow points are pretty much uh, hot rounds. You know, one's might, one might be hotter than the other, so you got different pressures going through the barrel. Is that bad? I can't answer that. If any of you, any of you guys really know what you're talking about, don't talk out your ass. Leave a comment and, and let us know if that is a bad thing to do. I just don't do it. You know? So, anyway, that's my answer for that. I don't have an answer. If the top round is different, it's the first one in the chamber, that's not a problem. It's already in the gun, you know. I, I don't think it is. I don't know. Um, so, just want to show you how nicely uh, this shield fits in this holster and how nice it looks. It's got a nice positive lock as you can see shaking the gun's not going anywhere and there's the there's the whole look of it when it, when you're wearing it right like that as you see uh, you can get your whole hand around there to, none of the holsters going to hit your knuckles when you're grabbing your gun some holsters are like that they make them they make this part just a little too high to hit your knuckles as you're grabbing the gun but uh, this is a really beautiful holster and I love showing I love showing Joe's work guy does really good work so, but remember, he's one guy, just like the other guy. These guys, they're, they're, they're one person, you know. It might take you, Joe told me to let you guys know, if you order a holster, it could take a month to get it. But ain't, ain't that worth it? So you order it and forget about it. Someday it'll show up at your door. You know what I mean? That's what you got to do if you're impatient like me. So, you know what I mean? So, there it is. Beautiful work. Uh, that's all I got to show you today. I just, you know, sitting around bullshitting, just an excuse to use the new camera and let me know what you think of the uh, picture quality. Um, what else is going on? I know I'm forgetting something. I know it. I know it. I just can't remember. I want to thank my friend Tom for coming up. We had a great time at the Flyers game, with the exception of the fucking snow and the salt trucks. Friggin' slingshot firing salt rocks at my friggin' car. We're driving down the highway, I'm behind the, sh the salt truck, and then the salt rocks are, it's got this little fan like this, it turns like a friggin' fan, and it's spraying the fucking rocks all over the place, and it's hitting my, hitting my paint, ping, pang, ping, pang, ping, I'm like, seriously? Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it, and we ate a lot. We went to this uh, restaurant called The Gaslight in Ridley Township. Fine food. They bring your steak out on a on a stone at 700 degrees. It's raw and it's already seasoned, and you cook it yourself at your table. I never seen nothing like it. I didn't think I would like that, but it was the, the the best steak I ever had. It was unbelievable. And then we went to another place. It stuffed our face with a big fat burger that you could barely bite. It was this big. That was called the Redstone Grill. And then we went and seen Lone Survivor. Great movie. So I had a really good time. Tom, thanks for coming up. That was fun. And I want to thank Joe for another beautiful holster. And then that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.